Hello again, Year 11. Welcome to another weekly review. This week we're just going to go through the homework answered, which was a review of the whole unit. So we'll begin with the first question. Now, this was focused on the bubble sort, and you remember we are iterating through the array and we're making a comparison with the element to its right. If the element to the left is greater than, we need to make our swap. So if we were asked to show, now here's some common, er common errors. People didn't show the stages. That's what the question was. There was four marks, therefore there's four stages. If I'm looking at the first pass of this, I've got C, crime and bait. I'm comparing and swapping. Crime is greater than bait. So at the end of the first operation, I'm going to have bait, crime, fright, victory, nymph, loose. So we're now on to our next pass within the array. Well, B and C are sorted, so I'm starting at a fright. I'm going to look at fright and victory. There's no swap. I'm going to look at victory and nymph. There's going to be a swap. So at the end of the second operation, I'm going to have bait, crime, fright, nymph, victory, loose. So I'm now on to the third pass and we can see that B, C, F and N are all in place but victory and loose, well N's not in place yet but victory and loose, we're on to victory, there's going to be a swap. So I've got bait, crime, fright, nymph, loose, victory. And then the final operation we're looking at N and L. We're comparing, comparing our element N and we're on to a swap. So we've got bait, and finally victory. And our four stages under four marks. Remember, we started with our comparison. We looked at the first, the first element. We made a comparison here, and then we started with the second element and so on and so on until we've created the four stages and we've got our array sorted. The next question we're on to a binary search, revision of the binary search algorithm. Now the common mistake here was for forgetting about what floor divide means. To floor means to round down. So you know the algorithm to get the midpoint. The midpoint equals the upper bound plus the lower bound floor divided by two. So to start this I would Number of the elements in the array, not through yet, we've got nine elements in the array. And the first operation, again, it says show the stages. So the first stage is going to be not plus eight, floor divided by two equals four. And in element four, I can see that it's orange. So the first operation, it would return orange. And we know that orange is less than zebra. Orange is less than Z. Therefore, our binary chop comes in and I'm chopping off from naught to four, and my lower bound becomes five, and my upper bound becomes eight. Five plus eight is 13, four divided by two is going to give me six, and when I access element six, I find tent, and there's a mark for tent. Tent is less than Z, so my binary chop comes in, and now I've got seven plus eight is 15, four divided by two is going to be seven. I'm looking at element seven, and I find we've got wind, and wind is less than Z, and we've now got our binary chop, and I've now got lower bound and upper bound is eight, plus eight is 16, four divided by two is element eight, and we access zebra. Four operations, four marks, and we find zebra. The mark points were for orange, tent, wind, and zebra. You needed to show what elements you were accessing as well as your working. And then the final question was the merge sort. And again, this was answered well. It's relatively straightforward that we're considering these as unsorted lists and we're merging them in place. So for example, in the first one, I'm going to be looking at P and B. So we're going to have back 97 and the code PO12 get merged. The next array, I'm looking at F and a J. Fly 77, Jav 16, so we've got those merged, and then I'm looking at T and A, we'll have and 18, Tal, 86, 
And then we're on to Z and H and we'll have Hop 86 and Zar 09. And that's the first stage of the merge. And there's two mark points there. You've got a mark point for that part of the array and a mark point for that part. Next, the second merge. And remember, it's the leftmost elements in the array. So I'm going to look at B and F and I'm going to merge back 97. And then I'm looking at P and F and I'm going to merge fly 77. Then I'm going to look at P and J. I'm going to merge J. And that leaves the P O E. 12. And then the same process recurs again, recursive algorithm, and these two A and H is going to be A, the and 18, T and H, hop 86, T and Z, tal 86, and therefore czar 09. And I've now got two sorted arrays, and we got a mark point for that and final merge again same process it's recursive we're looking at the left and left and I've got and 18 I'm going to go B with H I'm going to compare F with H I'm going to compare J with H J with T B with T, and then I know T and Z are sorted, they're remaining Tal 86 and Zar 09, if you can read my handwriting, and that's our sorted array. And that was the GCSE style past paper questions, folks. Rewind the video, make sure you understand the mechanics, and carry out any corrections. So we meet again on Monday. Have a good weekend.